Hey everyone, I hope you've had a great day so far and you're doing well. For this video, we'll be going through an unboxing of the Gundam Live Lance Heaven. And this was from Gundam Breaker Battlelog, released by Bandai last year. Last year being 2021. And in fact, you can go back to as far as October 2021. So here is kit number two from the Gundam Breaker Battlelog line. Um, I still have two more kits on hand to do unboxings for, so I thought I would make my way through them. Uh, given that I did have to wait a little bit longer than others to uh, finally get these kits in. So, uh, without wasting too much more time, here we have the Live Lance Heaven. What can I say? This was a must grab. Uh, even if it is, it's, it has its death scythe health, death scythe health, death scythe hell influences, which is great. I love it. Um, so yeah, this was definitely a jumping on the pre-order bandwagon. So here we have the front of the box with the live lance right here with its, I dare say, cloak deployed. Nice beam weapon of some description, um, and this will be in a bit of a white and a gold color scheme. So the front of the box, bottom of the box, so rear and front of the live lance. So this is equipped with a long beam lance. That beam effect, I swear, we've probably seen plenty of times from the St. Andrew. This time we'll be in blue. Uh, we have a nice little blurb about the Live Lance. So, clearly, second sentence, it uses the Gundam Death Scythe Hell as its base unit. Uh, and its silhouette and colour scheme were customised to create a Gumpler with a angel motif. Which is true. So basically the opposite of the Death Scythe. So, moving over... In terms of the action poses, so the active cloak when it's um, been applied over the main body, um, active cloak open and deployed, and the beam lance, and then here's another shot with everything open, and it has an extra weapon in the chest, a mega sonic cannon. That's pretty cool. Uh, top of the box. So here's just a little thing about customizing your own Gumpla using various other Gumpla of the range. So this is a bit of a hybrid of the Helios and the Live Lance. In fact, we saw this uh, on the Helios unboxing. And we just have an introduction to Gundam Breaker, the usual disclaimer information, and the side of the box. So kit number two. Just a bit of a rehash of the front of the box up. What have I done here? Make a mess. So that's the box. So if we take the box lid off, we will have one, two, three, four. Five bags of runner and a manual at the bottom. So I will crack open these bags and we will have a better look at the runners and the manual inside. Okay, so with everything now out of the bags and the runners ready to look at, I guess we first have a look at the Live Lance 7 manual. So top of the manual has the cover art once again. Nice line art of the live lance and to be honest that looks fantastic. I would almost be tempted just to grab another one just to put it in its correct colors. Bit of information about the live lance which we would have seen on the outside of the box. The pilot as his I dare say his persona within the Gumpler world, and him in the real world. So at the front, on the back, 
So rehash of what we saw on the side of the box. So active cloaks, beam lance. Uh, there is a zero system apparently installed as well. According to this little blurb here, uh, the Megasonic Cannon, which we know is the middle of the chest, and looking at the sources of inspiration, the Death Scythe Hell, as we knew through and through. But the Gundam for Sargo was also a bit of an inspiration, and I assume that is in regards to the uh, Megasonic Cannon. One of these days, some of these Gundam X kits will get redone. One of these days. And at the very bottom, we do have the color guide. So white, um, light violet, gray violet, interesting, uh, yellow, gold, and metallic blue. So not a bad color palette at all. Moving inside. So we have some special colour pages in terms of the parts lists. A, B, two C's, a D, an E, and three F's, although one of them is effect parts, some of which don't get used. Polycaps and a sticker sheet. I really like how these are becoming colour. Whether or not that continues in future lines remains to be seen. So that's that. Um, just fold that page over, but um, so like the Helios instructions, this little top of the page just has what you would need to connect between the two to uh, make a bit of a custom, which then makes me wonder if we'll see a combination of the uh, kits three and four, which is the ooh, the perfect strike freedom and or something along those lines and the burning i can't remember anyway got here to test my memory in terms of the build build the body build the head body is actually pretty straight well i mean torso is pretty straightforward as for the head um shoulders actually have their own little section which is pretty cool given they're just rinse and repeats the right arm and the left put them all together then on to the legs. So the leg, majority of the legs are done as pairs and then they become the right and the left based on what you attach at the top. Build the waist and then attach everything together. The backpack which looks pretty funky and to be honest with that backpack now been made with a bit of luck we will get a death scythe hell that is not premium and I because as of this recording the heavy arms Kai was just announced and it was no surprise it was a P Bandai. Um I know I wasn't surprised because Sandrock Kai was also a P Bandai and both of them had very negligible alterations. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about Gundam Wing. So going through the backpack build which actually is fairly I don't want to say complex, but it's uh, fairly involved. Uh, putting the backpack onto the live lance, and then closing the cloak, as well as expanding it, and then building the weapon. And lastly, we have the attachments of the effect parts, some of the posability and range of the arms. Um, I believe this is actually the same gimmick from the Death Scythe about the knee connection, which is pretty cool. So that was the manual. Before we get too further on, there was a sticker sheet included. Um, so the metallic blues will probably be for sensor areas and things like that. The eyes are the eyes. And I believe the other yellow stickers are pretty much for the insides of the active cloak. Unfortunate there's that many, but it definitely could be worse. So those are the stickers. Moving on to the runners. So we have a nice A runner here, multicolor A. The predominant white. We have the yellow. Some of these are nice translucent blue effect parts. Well, parts, not so much effect parts, but 
I definitely lots of holy color, as well as that um, violet gray, quote unquote. So that's the Aeron. A lot of details, I will admit. Um, being a predominantly white kit, this will be a panel lining dream or nightmare, depending on your point of view. B runner in gold, which actually doesn't look that bad given Bandai's track records with gold. It's actually quite pleasant. Um, but this will obviously be for your joints and some different manipulators. In fact, one, two, three sets of manipulators in there, which is pretty cool. So that's the B in that gold. We have two C runners, C1 and C2. Uh, so C1 has some little extra pieces that C2 does not otherwise... Well, I take that back. C1 has some extra pieces, C2 has some extra pieces. Um, but at the very bottom of the runners, they are a functional copy. Um, so that's pretty cool. Once again, these are both in that gold color. So some would probably be for some joints, the backpack, and things like that. So those are the two Cs. We have the D. Um, I just need to double check. So, uh, okay. So this is the grey violet, which would have been the same on the A runner. Um, but to the skirting, thrusters, a lot of this will be for the main weapon. So that's pretty cool. Uh, printed in 2021, so it's quite possible that it is not a full carryover of the Death Scythe, possibly. So there's the D runner. Uh, we have one E1. So this is more of a light violet. I think a lot of this is probably copyovers from the Death Scythe. At least this section here. This section, not as much, but I could be wrong. It does say 2021, so hard to say. Um, but this will be your external armors. And this is probably part of the active cloak. We have, actually there's three Fs, but we'll start with F1 and F2. Um, basically a top and bottom pairing, but they do have the exact same pieces. So your left and your right. So I can see some parts for the feet. And most of this will be for the active cloak. And I believe this is in white. Um, just to wrap up the Fs, so this is the other F runner, a very glittery effect part. Uh, so we will use the top bits, but these bottom two bits won't be used, which is unfortunate. Um, although I can imagine this one can be. It looks like it would share the exact same connection point, just won't have the length. Um, the Live Lance probably does not have any beam saber handles, so if you want a nice sparkly beam effect, here's one way of getting it. So that was the other F runner. And lastly, we have PC002 in gold. I think most of these will be used. In fact, we see this runner a lot these days. So that pretty much brings us to the end of the unboxing of the Gundam Live Lance Heaven. So this looks like it will be a really, really cool kit. Will I potentially build this one first ahead of them? Well, when I say ahead of them, the four that I have. Strong potential that it will be a yes. Um, primarily because of the Death Scythe motif. Um, but either way, this looks like it will be a very fun build. I do look forward to it. And in fact, to be honest, a lot of these Gundam Breaker kits uh, all look great. Uh, I even extend that to some of the recolors, if only mainly to the um, red frame inversion, which I'm definitely wanting my hands on, even if it is a recolor, because the colors are awesome. But anyway, we'll get to those kits when they arrive. Thank you for watching this video. 
feel free to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you wish to do so. All of this does help support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account, link in the description below. Stay safe and take care and I will catch you all in the next video. See ya.